Hi, till now I finished chapter 1, chapter 2 and chapter 3 that is regular language, contextual language and recursive enumerable language. Let's discuss chapter 4 that is undecidability. Here I will cover what is undecidable, Rice theorem, reducibility and PCP. PCP stands for post correspondence problem. Let's start with undecidable. The problem for which no algorithm exists is called undecidable. If algorithm exists, then it is called decidable. There are lots of problems in TOC for which no algorithm exists. These are undecidable problems. Example of this problem are first is ambiguity of CFG. One context free grammar is ambiguous or not that is undecidable. We have to try randomly by checking some string but there is no algorithm exist for finding ambiguity of context free grammar. Then second problem that is undecidable is regularity of CFG. One context free grammar is given whether it is for regular language or not that is undecidable. Then equality of CFG to context free grammar are equal or not that is undecidable. Then completeness problem of CFG. Some grammar is given, you cannot decide that grammar will generate all string or not, that is for universal language or not. So that is a completeness problem of CFG and it is undecidable. Next problem, conversation of NPDA to DPDA, you cannot convert one NPDA to DPDA. This is undecidable. Next is conversation of ambiguous to unambiguous grammar. This is undecidable. We cannot convert a ambiguous grammar to unambiguous grammar. Only there are specific type of grammar like operator grammar that we can rewrite as a unambiguous grammar. Except that operator grammar, you cannot convert ambiguous to unambiguous. Next, halting problem of Turing machine. Halting problem of Turing machine is undecidable. You cannot say this will halt on accepting state or rejecting state or it will go loop. So halting problem of Turing machine is undecidable. You cannot say where it will halt. It may halt and accept. It may halt and reject. It may goes to loop. And when it goes to loop, you cannot say it will be accept or reject. That's why halting problem of Turing machine is undecidable. So these are some problem for which no algorithm exists. So these are undecidable. Next, some property of Turing machine which are undecidable. First is emptiness. Emptiness means one Turing machine that will accept empty language or that will accept some string that is undecidable. So there is no algorithm exist for checking emptiness. In case of context free language, there is algorithm exist for emptiness, finiteness and membership. But in case of Turing machine, no algorithm exist for emptiness, finiteness and membership. Next property finiteness. You cannot say one Turing machine that will accept finite number of string or infinite number of string. Next is equalness. Two Turing machine are equal or not. It is undecidable. Next is membership. One string is given that can be member of some Turing machine or not. That can be accepted by some Turing machine or not. That is undecidable. Next is regularity. One Turing machine is given, it is for regular language or not, that is undecidable. Next is contest freedom and dependency, it is undecidable whether it is contest free or contest dependent. Contest sensitive language, that is contest dependent and contest free language, that is contest free. One Turing machine is given, whether it is for contest sensitive or contest free language, it is undecidable. Next, recursiveness. There is no algorithm exist for checking recursiveness of a Turing machine. Just remember this. Lots of time you will get direct question from this which are undecidable. In next lecture, I will discuss Rice theorem. Thank you.